Gunsyu and Super Colonel, two talented players. Lucina and Wii Fit Trainer. Dude, Super Colonel's been doing this thing with his jaw for like a month because his ears won't pop. That's some hidden lore. Oh, did he say that? He said his ears wouldn't pop at, at a salt. All right. So this matchup, traditionally known as a pretty decent matchup for Lucina, but Wii Fit is like so volatile. Like sometimes she hits you like twice and all of a sudden you're at 50 damage. Actually no, like minimum 50 damage, like 100. Wii Fit just such a strong character in advantage and kind of a mid character in neutral. So we'll see. Yunzu needs to anti air these jumps with the F tilts and call out the, uh, the balls with the F tilts. The balls, that was really funny. Charge shot cancel into a media grab. Sun dash tag. Good edge guard. Oh, good drift from Super Colonel. This situation is so annoying as uh, as Lucina being on ledge. It's just it's so hard. Her ledge options are not very good. But he's calling out Colonel for these uh, soccer balls, these headers. Falling out of the dancing blade, very classic from that spacing. That was a crazy play from Yunjiu. The shield pressure into immediate reach shield with shield breaker. All right, back out of shield. You really don't want to hit Weefit's shield when she's facing away from you. Nice. Good retreat from Super Colonel, but Yunzu following it. No jump. There we go. Down tilt. Trying to call the jumps with the back air. Good grab. Baiting the shield. Dude, people who turn around and grab out of shield are some of the coolest people ever. Oh, no jump on Yunzu having to air dodge. Good forward air coming out from Super Colonel. We'll see how Super Colonel can bring this back. No. Okay. I, <laughs> I would have cried. Good up tilt. Wow. That move is so broken. Nice recognition on the launch angle. Really chasing this Wii Fit off stage. Missing the back air. I feel like Yun had the read on that roll. Nope, air dodging in to avoid the, the sun salutation. That's happened twice now. Two frame with the, with the super hoop. Making it back. That was a very risky up tilt. Pretty, pretty obvious air dodge from Super Colonel. So should have probably read that, but good up B. We'll see how Yun gets this edge guard. Good trade. All right, there we go. 30% on Yunzu. This is kill percent against Wii Fit. Oh, needs to get off that plat. Yep, you never want to hit Wii Fit Shield when her back's facing you. That was such a crazy up air. Going for the shield breaker again. Cancel in the grab. Oh. The classic Colonel down airs. Dude, these air dodges to avoid projectiles are so bad. <laughs> Ooh, drop through platform back here. Deep breathing on deck. Good forwarder to call the jump and getting clipped by the header when dropping the flat. Barely avoiding the F tilt. Yep, another air dodge coming out from Colonel. Will he do it again? No, because Yunzu got hit. Oh, the sun salutation. All right. Super Colonel 44 taking game one. Good posture begins with a strong base. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of biased, but you know what? So be it. If there's only one commentator, there can't be an unbiased one. You know, earlier today, Yunzu made a, a tweet of like, do you want to start Small Battlefield? I banned PS2, and I'm pretty sure that they were tweeting about Super Colonel 44. All right, they're having a little bit of a, a scruple over the song choice. What? Oh, yeah. All right, Luna Ascension EX Tower of Heaven from Rivals of Aether. Whoa! Yo, 
Colonel just said, I'm down. If you were down, you would actually pick Rosa. All right. And here we go, going into game two. That was a very competitive game one. Good Nair. Ooh, missing the spike. Forward air. Dude, Yunzu's movement and like usage of delayed aerials is just so crazy. <laughs> Dude, this combo is so stupid. I hate getting hit by that. Parrying the Shield Breaker. Shield Breaker is a pretty easy move to parry if you know the timing, so. Okay, so it worked once, and now Yunzu is going for it a lot. But, I mean, it can always work again. Wow, that was a crazy raw back air. Super Colonel leaning in. Good back air, knowing that Weefix recovery is so limited. Oops, sour back air. That would have for sure been the kill. Oh, trying to get a buffered air dodge. Very cheeky Dancing Blade 1 from Yunzu. He's playing very solid advantage. Dude, okay, that, this situation is ugly. All right, there we go. Good run-up shield into immediate grab. Just a very good 50-50 to go for. Good stall. What the fuck? That was so weird. Okay, that was definitely a misinput. Uh, this, oh, 73 damage, so quick. Yunzu's getting very greedy with these arrows off ledge. I wonder if Super Colonel's gonna catch on and like go for like a up smash or something just for the invincibility. F tilt, knowing the getup wouldn't have as much invincibility because it was a re grab. Oh! The returning soccer ball, just the matchup check. No jump on Colonel. Still no jump on Colonel. And dropping the edge guard, but that's okay. Yunzu's still in the advantage. Oh my god. Okay, I was gonna say, if I kill, I'm gonna cry. Crazy up tilt coming out from Colonel. Colonel's playing such good advantage right now. Goes for the crab, but Yunzu adapting and getting the spot dodge. Nice. Dolphin Slash to send more up. Good turnaround grab. Forward throw off stage. I feel like a backer is coming to my turnaround grab. I feel. Dude, we fit only live that because the soccer ball hit her. How is that still techable? Okay. How is that still techable at 160? Now that was a well, great workout. Now that was a great workout. Yeah, you, you got hit by the ball, so you lived the back air. You like... Oh, I don't even know, bro. That shit made no sense. All right. So a 2-0 victory coming out from Super Colonel, but still a very competitive set. Very well played from both players. It was a well played set. It's very competitive. I know that feeling, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's up?